partial thromboplastin time, or PTT, has a normal value of 25 to 35 seconds. The reason that we're going to run this lab is to detect coagulation disorders and evaluate response to heparin therapy and also for pre, uh, preoperative assessment on patients to make sure that they don't have any bleeding disorders that we aren't aware of and to make sure that their uh, bleeding times are within range that we're not going to have to worry about uh, intraoperative hemorrhaging. So partial thromboplastin time evaluates the functions of factors 1, 2, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now, you don't necessarily have to remember that, but what you do need to remember is that there are a couple of different clotting cascades. PTINR is going to measure one clotting cascade, while PTT is going to measure another clotting cascade. We need the different labs for heparin one different, or, yeah, and different one for Coumadin because those two medications kind of work on the different clotting cascades. But what PTT really represents is it represents the amount of time required for a firm fibrin clot to form. And we use it to monitor heparin therapy. Okay, so if you have a patient who's on a heparin drip or taking heparin, we might run a PTT to see how therapeutic this medication is. And for example, for patients on heparin drips, we'll generally run a PTT about every six hours or so um, to determine how effective our drip is and if we need to adjust the rate uh, up or down. So some of the reasons we'd see an increased level would be clotting issues, things like uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation or DIC, clotting factor deficiencies. Von Wildebrand disease, hemophilia, uh, might see it with liver cirrhosis or liver disease like liver or like cirrhosis, because these uh, types of liver disorders can interfere with our clotting factors. Vitamin K deficiency, polycythemia, and dialysis are also reasons we might see elevated. We don't really look at uh, decreased times. What we're really concerned about, what we're really looking at here, are what's going to increase our levels. Okay, if a patient is taking the heparin, we really would just monitor it closely and see what their time is. For a normal patient who's not taking any medication, our PTT should be 25 to 35 seconds. So for the patient who is taking heparin or is on heparin therapy, we would expect PTT to be about one and a half to two and a half times the normal range, okay? Where normal is 25 to 35 seconds for a patient, we would expect a patient who's on therapy to have it be one and a half to two and a half times greater than that normal range for them. All right. Again, it's it's mostly used to monitor heparin therapy. It can also uh, be used to identify coagulation disorders and for preoperative assessment uh, to determine to make sure the patient isn't at risk for bleeding during surgery.